हेलो फ्रेंड हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू ट्रिपान स्टडी सेंटर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द चैप्टर ऑफ सोशल साइंस एंड हाईलाइटिंग ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ इट्स लेट्स सी व्हाट इज आवर टॉपिक टुडे मेरे पास इंडिया सिविलाइजेशन देयर इज इंपोर्टेंट मेरे पास इंडिया सिविलाइजेशन है इन द प्रीव्यू लेसन वी हैव रीड अबाउट द गुप्ता एम्पायर आफ्टर द रिजाइन ऑफ किंग हर्षवर्धन बिगेन अ प्रोलॉन्ग टू द पीरियड ऑफ पॉलिटिकल decentralization between the 8th and 10th centuries during which the several kingdom struggle for a supremacy in the northern india there are three major kingdom of where those of the pala and the perihars and the rashtras rashtra is a similar is a kingdom of principalities were established by their rajput then sets of chohans pramhars gaudavalas etc in the southern it was the chols then century that is had the control over most of the peninsular part of their country this situation of argumentations of political authorities was greatly favorable for a invader like a muhammad of ghazni the muhammad ghazni is the most important on this period time here After Sarva successfully conquered in the western and central Asia, Muhammad turned to about to India. Is the India is a conquest of began in the thousand one thousand century A.D. and which they have made a repeated invention of our Punjab as for a Kashmir and eastern Rajasthan and then into the fertile area of Gangotri Plain. And however, the Muhammad was not interested. Establish is the rule over this country. The first point here: political event. Muhammad as invention were follow followed by their coming of the Turk. The Turk establishing there is a rule over most of northern India by the thirteenth century. The Turk is a ruler where is now as a sultan and the ruler from there is a capital at a Delhi, and their empire is thus called to the Delhi Sultanate. The Delhi Sultanate there is an important it a most a powerful and centuries were was of the Khalji and Tughlaq most of his rule had be fa- faced their threat of the invasion by their uh, Mongol the many well there southern there are two powerful kingdom of Vijayanagar and Bhamnis where is the constantly is a competitive with each other of political supremacy there is a most important on this period time here powerful two kingdom here vijayanagar and bhavanis where is a constantly competing their each other the coming of mughals in the earlier 60th century a mark a new era of indian history the politically it was a consolidations of all india empire on the scale that had not been a witness in the india for a long time a socially and culture this was a period of the fusion of various tradition out of the fu- fusion of both a unique tradition which could be a seen in the social life religious practice and belief and is a various art it was a based on mature a conceptualization and harmonies of co existence parallel to we are this a centralized empire such as the delhi sultanate and mughal empire there is a flourish several smaller regional, regional and provisional independent during their dynasties and some this where is a elaya sahi and husain sahi is the ancestry of bengal the mohal of the assam and is a gujapati is the ancestry of odisha the ancestry of the mehwar and there is a mehrawar is rajasthan and the sardik is the ancestry of is a janpur The design of this independent regional of dissenting witness their growth of strong and flourishing regional and sub-regional language, literature, and cultures. The next year, political institution. There is a political institution also important on this period time here. The coming of the Turk and Mug- is the Mughals about their new idea of sovereignty and the governance. In the first place of kin- kingship itself had no clear cut. an element of place in their islamic conception of political which was based on the 
notations or a community of equal. Initially, a power was shared between to the Sultan and powerful Turkish chief are the nobles. But the resign of the Balban say on the evolution of their position of the Sultan. So much so that is assumed assaulted as a power in all matter of state and governance. Power of the Turkish is a nobility was considerable downsized. The Mughal established the power and prestige of the king at the unprecedented level. The Sultan of Delhi and the Mughal Empire made some inventions in the administrative system. The Mughal Empire come to be regarded as a is the empire of India. In Delhi Sultanate is a military commander where is assigned the terrorism unit is known as a Iktas. Iktas there is the territories where are transferable. And the assigns of this is a Ikta. There is a not given to watch over ownership of the land but only control over the revenues collected from them. This revenues was to be used by the Iktadar. That is the assign to be a meet his own requirement as well as there is a for a maintenance of his troop. And he would be a then expected to provide to the military support. With this is the troops where never is called upon by their empire do, do so. However, there are pre-exciting structure of control over land and the herches in the the land did a system of village and continued their largely undistributed. The undistributed there is important. The Mughal system was a more up penetrative with the control over the revenue and landed a network going much a deeper right to village level. The Mughal appointed a Mansubadar who is performing a military and civil duties. The Mansavas were actually rank or position which was a fix according to the position of officer in a Mughal bureaucracy and the military or contingent under their command. And these uh, Mansavadars were mostly paid through a land assignment is called Jagir which were frequently transferable and this were similar to the Ikta with the difference that will the Ikta is a combined to administrative charge and Jagir is it not. The Mughal system was accurately is depend on the smooth functioning of Mansodari and Jagadari system in this time. The next point here economics. The economic condition on this period of time here. The Delhi Sultanate as well as the Mughal Empire was based on the surplus of their agriculture produce of Peasant means farmer that was strict in their form of revenue. In the Mughal Empire, particularly in the design of Akbar for a reaching change is were made in the system of revenue collection. The land was a measuring and land or revenue was a fix according to the exact area of land. Fertility of the land was also is taken into the account. The cash value of the state as a share of the produce was the calculated according to the prevailing market price and revenue was a fixed in a, a, a cash term accordingly. There is state or encourage payment of the revenue in a case. And this was a period of commercialization and agriculture and the state encourage cash crop of production. The state also took a lot of interest in the extension of cultivation into zone which where he throws is a uncultivated forest area. It gave a various incentives to be pioneers and agriculturists. There is a state also advanced to be a peasant known as well as the revenue relief in time of crop failure. There is also an important point here. The advance to the farmer loan as well as the revenue relief or time of crop failure. The trade and commerce will which had been declined are greatly following the period of Guptas and Seth Arivalas during this time. The urban or centrate is a flourish after the considerable period of decline. The inland is a trade increasing in the 13th and 14th century as a result of this new urbanization on this time. A vast network of the road. Connecting this uh, urban center as 
कम अप टू दिच ऑल्सो फैसिलिटेड ट्रेड सिटी लाइक अ डेली आगरा लाहौर मुल्तान ढाका अहमदाबाद सूरत एंड मुंबई रोज इन इम्पोर्टेंट्स द मार्चेंडाइज फ्रॉम द पंजाब वाज वेन टू बी मार्केट टू वेस्ट एंड सेंट्रल एशिया पॉलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी एंड रिलेटिव ऑफ पेस स्टेबलिस बाय द मुगल मेड इन पॉसिबल टू ट्राइव विद कॉन्सिडेबल एज अमंग द सिटीज ऑफ द एम्पायर कोस्टल ट्रेड ऑल्सो ऑफ फ्लोरिस इन दिस टाइम देर इज द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ट्रेडिंग क्लासेस एंड कॉमर्शल प्रैक्टिसाइज वेर आर हाई स्टैंडर्ड एंड इंटरग्रेटेड इन दिस टाइम द सैत बोरास एंड मोदी मोडाइस इज वेर इंगेज इन द लॉन्ग डिस्टेंट ट्रेड वेल द बीपोरिस एंड देर इज अ बंग निक्स एज अलत इज अ लोकल एंड लेटेस्ट ट्रेड द सराफस एंड सोरोफू वेयर इज अ मनी अ चेंजर हु इशू द a handis and bills of exchange the handi was a letter of credit that could be paid at the later date of the designated place this facility the movement of goods from one part of country to another as it is a made the transaction of money over the long distance marketable of easy the next year culture and religious life there is a most important here in the sphere of religious and culture medieval sphere witness a great synthesis of tradition tradition there is important the bhakti movement and sufi in the religious sphere or are example on this period time here the bhakti movement which stress on the oneness with the god through the a personal and devotion come very close to with your every day lives of ordinary people it is a stress on their love purity and devotion rather than to rituals a sacrifice The question is their caste system and the authorities of Brahmins. Bhakti Sant like a Ramanand, Kabir, Ravi Das, Meera Bai, Guru Nanak, Turka Ram, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and had a deep impact on the mind of common people, and this is influenced or continues even today. In fact, some of these are Sant devotees. There are large followings. For example, Guru Nanak had deep influence over to people of Punjab. His large followings have led him to be found a new religious cult to Sikhism, and was a follower of his call Sikh. In a similar manner, the Sufi sons also stress on the revelations and love at the only way to the lives of divine. There are places there is a torrent on comparison the live it alive and asterius as and shared there are sorrow and as this of the common masses. as a result their influence over to the masses both hindu and muslims was very strong in this period time there was also a lot of interaction between two sufi and bhakti sant an exchange of philosophical idea took place on this time both tradition in fact actually a bridge between two community there is an important bridge here two community here language literature art and architecture music and dance also bore out this trend of the synthesis between different tradition in the area of language and literature classical language like a persian and bhakti flourished in this period time but the real and remarkable development was the growth of religious language in this time under the mughals paint it was organized in the royal kharakhanas and painter where is a government parols The Mughal school is a painted represented a complete assassination of Parisian and Indian style and this to some extent was a result of their fact that the artists of the school both with their them's element of various traditions to which there is a belong like a Rajputana Guj- Gujarat Malwa etc some famous painter avera Dawant Baswana and Mukand and Kesab there is a prevention of the present master like uh, abdul samad and said ali both are element of present style as well and manuscript the manuscript or illustration was another uh, hallmark of mughal painting another fascinating aspect of culture life is the medieval india is a vis- visual in the is indo islamic architecture it is characterized by the adaptation of indian resources expressed as a motif and design of persian style 
न्यू फीचर लाइक देयर आर्ट्स एंड द डोम्स वेयर इज कंबाइंड विद देयर यूज ऑफ हिंदू मोतीफ्स लाइक अ वेल लोटस स्वस्तिका एंड सलवास इज वाटर इज पोर्ट द कुतुब मीनार एंड द अलिस अलन दरवाजा एज अ वेरियस इज अ मोमेंटम्स ऑफ द तुगलक पीरियड लाइक देयर टॉम एंड द ग्याउद्दीन तुगलक आर अ फाइन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टेक चर्च ड्यूरिंग द डेली सल्तनत पीरियड द मोमेंट ऑफ द मुगल पीरियड रिफ्लेक्ट एज द डीप एंड सेंस ऑफ फ्यूजन ऑफ मैंशन ऑफ इंडो इस्लामिक स्टाइल फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मोमेंटम इन अ फतेहपुर सिकरी लाइक अ पंच महल एंड बेरावल एज अ प्लेस एंड द इकवाता खान एज वेल एज द स्टम्ब ऑफ हमायू एंड रेली अकबर एज अ फेमस तम्बो एज अ सिकंदरा इतम दुल्हा एज अ तम्बो आगरा एंड ऑफ कोर्स टू द ताजमहल आर आउट स्टैंडिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मुगल आर्किटेक्चर इन दिस पीरियड टाइम ये ये शो द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट अ कुतुब मीनार देर इज अ कुतुब मीनार ऑन दिस पीरियड टाइम देर इज अ मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट Another fascinating aspect of uh, culture life in the Middle East, India, is visible in it is a Indo-Islamic architecture in this time. It is characterized by the adaptation of Indian resource enterprise, their most motifs and design of Parisian style, new feature like their art and the domes, where is the combined with the use of Hindu motifs like a bell, lotus and swastika and the layer salt water port etc. The Qutub Minar, the Ali Darwaza, and the various momentum of their Tughlaq period, like their tomb of the Gyanuddin Tughlaq, are fine example of architecture during the Delhi Sultanate period. The momentum of Mughal period leaves a deeper sense of fusion of assimilations of Indo-Islamic style. For example, the momentum is the Fatehpur Sikri, like a Panch Ma Panch Mahal, visible as a place and Iba the Khan, as well as there is a tomb of Humayuns in a Delhi. Akbar is a famous tomb at a Sikandra. It is a do la as the tomb is Agra and the course of Taj Mahal is an outstanding example of Mughal architecture. Here show the most important picture of Kutub Minar on your screen. There is the most important architecture on this period time here. Music was also is a uh, patronized by the most amiable ruler in India. Indian a uh, system of local and instrumental musical interfaces with the Arab, Iranian, and Central Asia tradition of music. New rag come to be a uh, composed on this period time. The Bhakti and Sufi tradition also give a uh, impetus to new duration style of music. The Middle East period of India history quite and distracted in it characterized by the political economics and cultural life was thus the another important outstanding period after the ascent period